Hello, this is Valerie at my Scrap Chick, and today I am doing a tutorial for the new Frankenstein candy bar wrap. And this little wrap, he has a slide on belly band that holds this little wrapper closed, and you can just slide this off. And when you open it up, there's a full size Hershey bar inside. And what's really nice with these belly bands is there's no tearing apart all of the work that you've put into creating a fun wrap. This can be used over and over again. And so now we'll get started putting this together. And these are all the belly band parts. Um, also, it's going to come with six pre uh, printable messages for the front. We have Happy Fright Night, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, Boo, another Happy Halloween with a different font, and Can I Be Frank? So you get to choose between those. And the first thing we're going to do is start with the, uh, the basic wrap. And what I want to do first is put together the face. And I'll start with putting the backing. This backing goes behind the face and it helps to show all the parts in black and so I just take it and I line it up on the back of the face. I left a little bit of edging around so that if it doesn't get perfectly lined up like this it, it won't show. So we start with that, and then we're going to put on the eyes, and the eyes is three layers. It's the, um, the backing of the eyeballs, and then the eyebrows. So the first thing we'll put on, actually I'm going to put the whole thing together for the eyes before I put it on his face. So we're going to put the eyeballs on first. We line it right up along the brows. And then we put on the brows, and the brows, the, the left side eyebrow is going to be setting a little higher, so we'll put the glue on the back here, and then line that up right along all the edges there. So that's all perfectly lined up, and now we're going to put his eyeballs on, but I think I might put his hair on first. And that will line up at the, up at the top. Then we'll place his eyes and you can kind of move it up or down however it looks good to you but I like to put it where the, uh, the um, eyebrows are just above just above the ears like that and then press down and then we'll put on his nose and that's going to line up again on that piece of backing we have there so you know where to place the nose. And then before I put his face onto here, I want to put the bolt that's going to go behind his neck. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right in the center and then decide where I want that bolt lined up and it's probably going to go right about where his mouth is and just press down there. And now we're ready to put it onto the candy bar wrap. Oh, nope, not quite. There's two other things we put on first. One is the backing. This is going to look like his shirt. So we're going to put that on first and then we'll put his lapels on. So the first thing to go on the wrap is his shirt. And that's going to line up the top of this is going to line up right along the top of there, the edge of the 
wrap and so we put that on squeegee that down then we'll put on his lapel and that lines up the edges at the top and then this will all line up along here And the next is his face. So you can see this does go together really nice and quickly. And it's going to line up right like that. So we'll take that squeegee that down and you'll see that'll line up well. And so we're going to take a candy bar I'm going to take the one out of here because I forgot to grab one. You would take the candy bar and it's going to go inside here. And then I'm going to put together the belly band. And the, on the belly band, there's four pieces that go on top here. The first thing I'm going to put on is the backing for the greeting, the sentiment. That'll line up along here there's a slight border an even border all the way around down here and then just kind of squeegee that down then take your sentiment that you've chosen and center that on the tag backing and then his hands and the hands are two different sizes so make sure when you are inking and when you're putting them on top that you have them lined up correctly and we'll put those on and you'll see it lines up right with the knuckles for line up right along there and there and now we're all ready put this around the wrap and so I, I like to wait until I've got the candy bar in there to do this because that way you get the right tension on the belly band and I don't crease it I just sort of gently fold it over the edges and that way it makes it so that it's going to slide well and I do that then I'm going to flip this over and let up one side of that belly band and then put some glue on one part of the tab and then fold it over and press down Oop. and that way you'll be able to slide the belly band on and off and kind of check it before you let the glue fully dry make sure it's going to slide nice and there you have Frankenstein candy bar wrap. These are really going to be fun to hand out at Halloween. There you go. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.